Satellite images of the aftermath of the July 18 drone attack on a military base on the territory of Lake Donislav in Crimea has been released. As can be seen from the footage circulated on Telegram app, one of the targets during the naval and air drone attack was the boats in the area. Naval and air drones hit a Russian Coast Guard base on Lake Donislav during the attack, Ukrainform reported with reference to a law enforcement source. The Russian occupation naval forces conducted exercises to protect the waters of Lake Donislav in Crimea. Thanks to the drones, these exercises were a failure, as the Russians were unable to defend even their base, not to mention the lake area, the source said. As a result of a combined attack by sea and air drones on the Russian Coast Guard base, the following were hit and disabled, the headquarters with the control center, an ammunition and equipment depot, an electrical substation, technical facilities, and enemy firing positions. This is yet another reminder to the enemy that Ukrainian Crimea is turning into a trap for Russians, where they will be systematically destroyed. Because, as Security Service of Ukraine head Vassil Maliak said, death is the only prospect we can offer the occupiers, the informed source said. Russia's Black Sea Fleet was conducting exercises around Lake Donislav night when it came under attack by Ukrainian drones, a law enforcement source told. Lake Donislav lies northwest of the Crimean city of Yevpatoria, on the western edge of the annexed peninsula. Moscow has controlled Crimea since 2014, and Kiev has vowed to reclaim the peninsula. A huge fire broke out in Taiwan's Shanshan Industrial Zone. The District Fire Protection Unit sent 39 equipment and 79 specialists to extinguish the fire. However, E2Day reported that the fire was so intense that firefighters could not get close enough to put it out. More firefighting personnel and vehicles have been added to help put out the fire. According to information, the factory workers left the fire area. Due to the poor air quality, authorities have issued reminders for residents and people living in nearby areas to protect themselves. The acrylic factory stored a large amount of flammable materials such as methanol and toluene, leading to constant explosions and thick black smoke billowing from the location. A fiery mushroom-shaped fireball was also seen shooting up into the sky. Firefighters told reporters they suspected methanol and toluene had been stored in the factory when it went up in flames. An investigation into the exact cause of the fire will be carried out, firefighters said. Nó nổ tiếp kìa, cái kìa ơi, nổ tiếp thế nó kìa. Trời ơi kìa, ôi rồi, nhức quả bao nguyên tử luôn đó kìa ơi. Rồi. Kiếp chưa kìa? Em 